<laughs> so, uh, Stuart and Lawrence, I'm so happy to see you again. Uh, a little bit of time's gone by since we were in each other's physical company. And we could not have predicted what was going to, what was about to happen to the world. It was beyond my wildest dreams, this uh, pandemic and the uh, collapse of the world's economies and, and human suffering all over this planet, including in Africa and in your country, Uganda. Uh, and here we are, and I'm deeply moved to be looking at you too and seeing you seeing you live and I've been watching your progress online and very much enjoying your, your images and your words that you share with the, uh, with the people in the world. And um, it's touched me deeply to see how you had spent like six weeks with us, I think in this learning, uh, getting a yoga education. And then you went back and it's like, you've taken it in your stride. It's like nothing has held you back. You, uh, you, you told me that you would teach in this world and you did, the heart of yoga Africa. And um, what has moved me is to see uh, from a, the perspective of the West, uh, the humble conditions in which you both teach the people of Uganda, but you, you just don't stop. And I thank you for that. And could you please, both of you, well, one at a time or together, whatever, um, just tell us how, how this has been for you, starting at the beginning when you, you, you did the trip and came to our uh, yoga teaching workshop and then went home. And please tell us, how has it been for you and, your, and the people that you teach? <clears throat> Yeah, like from, from the moment we, we go to the workshop with your education, we were so excited, both excited and nervous at the same time. And we were so ready to get what we learned to bring it back home to Uganda and share with our people to really, really inspire them, motivate them empower them and get through all the realities of life or participate in the realities of life as it is and uh, make our communities from the striving to better, better communities from one person to the other, creating change and positivity in our communities. So it has been a really transformational move, especially with previous support, uh, the entire world, uh, all the teachers, Mark, the Stalin, Emma, and the team. So it's so inspiring for us. And I love everything about it. And seeing progress in our communities is so really, really rewarding. Things change that were desired to see in our community. Um, okay, where should I start with? Actually, from the first day I saw you, I was so nervous. I was me too. So curious to know how Mark looks like, and good to know he was a giant. <laughs> Who <laughs> was so tall and I was a half. Um, 
my it, it, it has been a good experience for me and uh, Rollins, uh since we got there to learn from you emma mark plus everyone sharing everything that we learned from there it's been uh tough on our side uh to share to uh to go to reach more uh communities but currently we we've done something and i appreciate uh rollins uh it's uh, a challenging situation that uh, everyone uh, is looking on how to get up with life and all that and that's the reality of life we face each and everything the way it is that that's what i learned from you uh, it's life and we must face it the way it is and uh, from this i've learned uh, it's not the end of the world no matter what kind of challenge or reality we face so from uh all the teachings that I've been following and learning from you and uh, the posts you share, because uh, we used to teach yoga, but this was so much of uh, uh, intense, vigorous, and so sweating. So I came to realize that when I went to your teachings and Emma teachings, I came with another picture because I couldn't teach uh, someone who is 60 plus or 50 plus. I couldn't. I, I, cause the way I used to teach could be for more like the early twenties or and below or from thirties. So from your teachings, I learned how to uh, cope up with different ages and to give yoga that not me that I am doing, but that suits every, or everyone or suits that particular person. And uh, this, this has been a great uh, discovery of myself uh, to discover that there's yoga for everyone and go out and teach and spread the love because it's companion, it's compassion to share something yoga is related to as a reality of life. Yeah. Beautiful to hear. I would say, I would say that you coming to see us meet in warming By the way, uh, me and Emma discussed uh, you a lot. We, you know, you're, you're treasures for us. And we always talk about, hey, have you seen how Jordan and Lawrence are going? Did you see this photo, or that photo? And, you know, say, like, <laughs> you know, go Lawrence, go Stuart, you know. So Emma sends her love. And, um, we know that you have transitioned from being like uh, yoga instructors or, you know, like young people's fitness, yoga gymnastic instructor to you've both become yoga teachers, you know, capital Y, capital T, where you have these skills now that were passed on me from my, of how to adapt yoga to each and every person according to their situation, right? According to their very real needs, their body type, their age, their health. I want to ask you uh, to the people that you are teaching, uh, are you able to communicate broadly to the public about that yoga is is a thing that yoga is what you can do as a personal response to your life what sort of uptake 
is is there in the public for this idea of what is yoga? Um, right now, since uh, I would say to the small extent, yoga is still uh, not as much uh, learned here uh, as to the Western countries. Uh, it's around uh, the city, Kampala, and a few, uh, a few cities in Uganda. Um, yeah. Rollins and I, we are doing this to spread more about yoga. Basically, we are targeting the teens, the, the youth, since they are the, uh, the new generations. Targeting the youth is, uh, is a way of building something that is strong uh, right. to the community or to this country or to Africa. Yeah, this is our, this is our mission. Yeah. Um, are you getting through to the people? Will you be able to influence the young people and then all the people and will that make a difference to your overall conditions in beautiful Uganda that has so much suffering in it? Um, according to our population, the youth are of a bigger number than the adults. And yeah. uh, in this, the youth are suffering more than the adults because of uh, no jobs, yeah. uh, less education, and yeah. uh, like corruption. <laughs> corruption is in, you know, in our country. So, so many uh, jump to trying out so many other things in life, maybe how they can survive. And uh, me and Rollins, uh, this is our mission to reduce this too much suffering of fellow youth like us. And to make uh, another generation of how things can be reacted upon. Yeah. Um, some of the ways we are helping people who are suffering so much is bringing yoga to them and yeah. creating programs like, for instance, if they are youths who are unemployed, so we talk to them, find solutions to that. Though there are lots of challenges with that, but we come up to see that it's beyond the, the yoga to see that people strive and try to reduce the unemployment since most of our youth are unemployed. So yeah. we also come up with stations that are individualized to the communities. So we, we address that. Right. Well, I've been very moved to see that as as well as teaching the yoga, you are also uh, helping people with food and you know, practical help that they need. Yoga is also a practical help, but you've combined uh, some fundraising for uh, the necessary supplies in the pandemic and so on and so forth. And I commend you for doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. I uh, just uh, don't let anything hold you back because you've yeah. just got and you're both, uh, young and very healthy and very energetic and you've got decades of teaching ahead. And I know that you'll become very important 
uh, leaders and people of influence in Africa? Yeah. Um, I'm grateful. Is there anything that I can pass on to uh, my community about uh, your needs right now in Uganda? Is there any um, fundraising you're doing right now? Um, we try to reach out uh, to uh, those who can really give something. So to whoever that uh, donated something locally. Or it's good to see you. <laughs> Yeah. It's always great to see you. It's always great to see you too. Sharing and teaching, it's such an inspiration uh, to us. Yeah. Where do you see your students? Where, where are you actually teaching them right now? Oh, uh, we have like community, community halls. Yeah. So yeah. We, we invite them to come for classes, though we kind of limit the number of people, especially yeah. when you are, you are following the guidelines from the Ministry of Health. Yeah. And then at uh, some other classes, we, we move to the communities, which are so far away from where we, we conduct these other sessions. Some are family. Yeah, some are families. So we, we create like a small space around the home and yeah. then like come up with the classes. Yeah. And then others, we, we really move to different, different uh, groups out of Kampala. And it's a bit of those stressing and <laughs> challenging. Yeah, we have some bikes. So sometimes we ride to a far, not around Kampala, but the suburbs of Kampala. So this right. is another way of how we can reach out because not everyone has a phone here. And right. uh, it's really hard to access internet. Right. And it's not, it's not uh, so much like stable and it gets on cracking and all that. that that's, <laughs> So uh, sometimes we, we reach out, we write there. Uh, it's not a big uh, session, but we teach some, we share something. Do people tell each other about the classes and then the news spreads and people willing to try because their friends yes. tell yes. Right. Yes. yes. Yes, so we always encourage the the students who have shown up for the class and also yeah. encourage them to, to go back, spread and invite more friends or we, we show up the, to those places the, and we share the yoga and we love what we are really, really doing, the change that we are seeing in our communities from surviving to thriving communities. I love that. <laughs> We're teaching oh. compassion. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. What? And we really, we really appreciate for your guidance, the teachings. They are really, really liberating. So uh, people can do their yoga in their own body and feel comfortable in their own body, which is mm. really, really so liberating. And we appreciate for all that you do for us. We appreciate you and for much blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you. And what I find uh, intriguing is how quickly yoga can be communicated and taken up in a very real way by new people. And it's completely new idea for them and yet you're able with the uh, the beautiful friendship that you offer everybody uh, they respond to that friendship and they like it give it a go and if they like it they obviously go away and tell other people who then show up 
uh, actually uh, some two days back one of the students like found you on the way and he was like oh when are we getting back to yoga and all that because i've cleared space made so many. beautiful uh, okay like um some two days back we met uh, i met some students and they were so excited to see me and they were asking me about their classes and what i assured them classes will happen again soon but we have to uh, set up the class we uh, have some health guidelines from the ministry of health one setting up a hand washing station then wearing the masks and then um, some uh, sanitizer. hand sanitizers as well but of which this is a challenge for us we cannot we are not in position for now to, to do that but I promised them that we will have these classes and they're so excited for us and that really humbles me and Stuart for the work we are doing in our communities like changing our communities to thriving communities and bringing the yoga that is really really individualized people feeling comfortable in their own bodies as as, as well as being our yoga, accepting. accepting the realities that are happening as they are, engaging in the reality as it is, and have this at the back of their mind that this is just for a, a short time, it will end. Nothing is permanent always in life. It's always for a short time. So you have to hang in there and accept it the way it is and move on and bringing all these breathing techniques, the asanas that, you know, it's really, really encouraging and all that. Um, I always teach uh, to dissolve everything into compassionate. So we as youth uh, and the youth we teach here, we have that, uh, the grief that we have behind everything. We have so much uh, anger uh, towards everything almost. Uh, so this is the love we, uh, we share to accept and let this dis be dissolved into compassionate or compassion. So this is the reality of how we're supposed to face the challenges of life. And this is a good feeling for me. I, I feel, yes, for the few that um, we've uh, told this, it's a good, uh, it's a good discovery for, for, for them to actually know how to deal with life. And uh, I feel so, I feel so like we are doing this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> how is your your own practice for you both how is your yoga lawrence um my yoga um before doing this uh before doing the teachings with you the yoga education with you it was so intense like you need to perfect the pose. You need to get into this. So that was a little bit straining me to, to really participate in my yoga practice the way I am and feel comfortable in my own body and realizing that everybody is unique or I'm unique. In, I'm unique in my own way. And that really shows up in my own practice. And ever since I had that Yoga education with you, it has been really liberating for me as an individual. And I really love that. And uh, I'm so, I don't know, I don't know what words to use to Actually, really I can explain. add on that. <laughs> I used to tell you, bro, you can do this better than this. So I thought I was right, but I was wrong. So <laughs> <laughs> it was like, man, I can't do that. You can do that. So. I was I was wrong, so 
I felt I was so wrong about it. <laughs> <laughs> so it all came into all the teachings we shared. Emma, from you, from Sally, from Sally, and then each and every person that we shared with. And she has really, really been so grateful for us in my well, in his practice and my practice because all things have really changed and we are we are even enjoying our practice more than ever before. And we are sharing this is this is like uh, a life force, like it's driving us even more. So that we really encourage people to enjoy their practice in their own bodies and feel more comfortable in their own bodies and enjoy the benefits that yoga has to you know offer yeah. through the whole process yeah yeah and stuart how is your personal practice stuart describe it for, uh, me. for me i see myself as the most uh I, I feel like I've changed so much uh, because I used not to take uh, myself into uh, personal practice. I used, I used to just uh, go and instruct like uh, we used to. But after the teachings that we shared with you, Mark and Emma and every person that we shared with, I felt the self-discovery and that um, the esteem to thrive and learn something because I used to be so hard on myself. I used to, okay, like a youth, I used to think this is how it's supposed to be. This is how I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be like this guy. I'm supposed to be like, I'm supposed to be flexible. I'm supposed to be this. I'm supposed to be. So I had that. Um, burden on myself <laughs> to do something that maybe my body is not is not made for that right uh, we all have different body types and postures so yeah. I've, I've i've really i've really changed uh during my seven minute practice because right now i do it more oftenly because we we do less uh, we reach out less. So each and every day, I, I try something new for myself and to discover myself what I can do and what I cannot do. So, so our teacher, Krishnamacharya, would say by doing your own yoga, then you know how to teach others their yoga. And if you don't do your own yoga, then you cannot teach anybody else. But it's not that you just give them the same yoga that you do, because you uh, you communicate that your own feeling of yoga, your experience, <clears throat> but then adapt it to their needs of their body and age. Right. Yeah. So he would yeah. teach teach yoga, uh, not that is good for me or is good for you, uh, good for somebody else, but good for you, each person. And you're great. It's obvious that you have this great respect for each person who comes to you. No matter who they are, you love them, you respect them, you're compassionate to them. And um, this seems to be uh, what you two are obviously doing. And it's beautiful to witness, even from afar. But in talking to you now up close and personal, I really, I really get it. <laughs> yeah, I really get it. Thanks for sharing it so close. Yeah. Truly, truly. I'll pass um, the essence of this conversation with Emma. 
and she'll, I know she'll be very happy to hear about this. <laughs> so humbled. He's so humbled and thank you so much for everything that you do for us and our communities. Thank you for sharing. Um, and we love your videos actually so much. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I go, I flow with the videos because uh, I feel like it's a live class for me. So it's oh, that's so, great. so. Very good to know that they are useful to you. They are very useful. Yeah, I'll keep them coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>